hello 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 i'm back which feels weird to say because it's really been a while like last semester was so much and then i took a much needed break and now i'm actually back it feels weird to say but yeah back in 2023 it's going to be a good year i hope let's let's not go down to the universe but i'm gonna hope it's gonna be year of me and yeah i'm gonna hope but yes let's get into these books i read last year i i've talked about it on my tiktok i've been posting a lot of my tiktoks so if you want to follow me there go do that link down below, below but let's get into the books i read last year because i know i'm late but you guys i've been i've been going through a lot just just don't be mad at me just know that i am finally posting this video and i hope you like it because it's gonna be a long one maybe i don't know we'll see i ramble so you know you, i'm rambling right now um so yeah let's get into the books that i read the rest of the year so if you don't know i basically do every three to four months my books that i read because i tend to not read a lot of books so i tend to try to get at least 10 to 15 books to put into one video to discuss them so the video could be a good length um but I also went through a bad time and place so all these books are from August to December all the books that I've read um it's about 20 something books I believe I don't really remember much but it's a good bit of books December was my reading month I read a lot of books in December and I've been reading a lot of books over break even in January now like I from December to January so I read a, a, over 30 books in, in total from that point of view so that's why this is gonna be a lengthy video so let's go into these books as fast as possible August I read the Revenant series by Amy Plum which was a brilliant 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 series i still think about to this day it was amazing so i there's three books it's a trilogy and the first book is called die for me the second book is if i should die and then the third book is until i die which all three of these books are freaking amazing if i had put them in order i think that it would go with the third book the second book and the no the third no mm, oh god no wait oh wait ah because uh, like I got spoiled for a second book because I accidentally started third book so I got spoiled so it just didn't eat as much but third book kind of ain't too so third book first book and a second book I think they were all amazing I had such a good time reading them um I am bad at synopsis but I will try to explain as much as possible what this book is about so basically the book this book is about this girl her name is Kate she ends up moving to Paris because her parents died and she's her and her sister moved to Paris to be with their grandparents um and she meets this guy named Vincent so in the end of the book you basically see her going through a bad time and she ends up deciding let me go to a good coffee or whatever she goes go to like a bunch of brunch places because like she used to come to Paris a lot when she was younger and then like being in Paris now without her parents and things like that it's been really hard so she's back in Paris she goes to go get um she goes to this brunch spot um and she sees this guy named Vincent and she takes a liking to him she thinks he's cute and then like you know he i think calls her over and something happens and the book is amazing that's how the book starts but it's about her and vincent's love story it's a paranormal romance um and let's just say vincent is not all who he cats up to be and it, this book is so it's so good because I re I haven't found a book that's like it. Like I've been trying and this book, there's nothing like this book. And that's why I love it so much because you can't find anything like it. And I'm so excited to have the opportunity to finally be able to have read it because I was dying to read for a while and I finally read it and it was so good. So highly recommend the Revenant series by Amy Plum. It's an old YA series, but it's still, uh, in my opinion, it cracked up to this day i need to buy the trilogy i just i haven't bought it even though it's one of my favorite series from last year interesting right <laughs> um so the next series that i read i don't want to talk too much about it because everybody knows this series everybody knows this author i don't want to promote the author as, as um too much on my channel so we're going to briefly talk about it and then keep pushing but i read the avatar series i read a quarter um <laughs> A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin. I read all three of the books. Um, there's also a, a novella, and then there's the fourth book, which is A Court of Silver Flames, which is Feyre's sister's book. 
uh, which she continued later on. Um, I had an own a quarter silver flames, literally right there. Um, but the the basically it's a popular book. I gave the oh I didn't tell you guys my rating for the last book. So the last books I gave all of them four stars. The Revenant series for Avatar I gave the first book three stars, and the second and the second and third book five stars. Um, they the second and third book are my favorite books in the series. Uh, but if I had to rate the series personally, I would give. A Court of A Court of Mist and Fury first, A Court of Wings and Ruin second, and then Akatar last. I don't mess with Akatar. I fucking hate the first book so much. I don't like it. I don't like Tamlin. So yeah, I, cause like I don't really like the first book. I'm one like I don't like the first book. But let's be honest, I Pharaoh's that bitch. I will forever say Pharaoh's that bitch. She's one of my favorite like fantasy characters that I read about because like ain't nothing gonna stop my bitch and I love that about her so yeah <laughs> um I'm not gonna talk too much about the series you guys know the series it's it's, it's everywhere so yeah I read Akatar and then around October I basically read these two books with the um I read, read these two books these are the only two books I read in October um the first book that I read was A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime I read an audiobook I love this book so much so if you don't know what A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime is about it's by an author named Monica Murphy it's about this girl named um Ren she goes to this prestigious like boarding school and her love interest is a guy named Crew um he he likes that she's very innocent and Ren is pure um her dad doesn't want her she's like a daddy's girl basically um she's just like this innocent girl who's like basically like don't lose your virginity like keep your virginity and blah 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 and Cruz loves that about her and he's obsessed with her he wants to do things to her basically and Ren gets corrupted by the end of the book but it's really good I literally own the book right behind me um I own the book so we have this book and then we have the prequel which is birthday kisses I said prequel I'm so sorry it's an extended epilogue kind of in a sense like it's a novella that she made and it's really really good um I love this world if you know me I've made 20 different edits about this series I just love it. I love A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. I don't know if I'm going to like the other books in the series because I have started the other book, which is the first book in this series, in the Lancaster series, and I have yet to start the third book in the Lancaster series. This series is like a, a series of standalones, um, and I don't know when I'm going to, I don't know when I'm going to fully read it because the first book in the series, I don't know. I don't have really too much of opinions on it because I think I only read like 10% of the book. Um, the next book that I read, it was my first ever time reading a Kennedy Ryan book, and to be honest, it ate, but I also don't have too much of opinions on it, because I don't even think I even read this book to this day, I don't even think I did, yeah, no, I still haven't read this book, I, it's, it's hard for me to read this book, because I think that this book too, took a lot of emotions out of me, it took and it harbored so much emotions, like, I didn't know that Kennedy Ryan writes books like this and I was like okay. So the book starts off with like the past. It shows these two people when they were younger and they fell in love when they were children and then like the book sets several years later like a decade or so later and you kind of see them fall back in love again. So second chance romance. It has a lot that happens in this book. It's definitely a deep book. It's I don't I don't remember if it's like on the like mental health route or not, but I know it had things to do with like um pregnancy and second chance and being older and finding your first love and things like that and cheating. So it was definitely an interesting book. I really personally loved it. Um I loved it, but I also don't have too much of opinions other. It's like similar to like Solitaire by Emily um by uh Alice Oseman. I have zero thoughts. It's like I loved it, but like also what did I just read? <laughs> so yeah, um that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> um next book I read, which was in November, I that was the only book I read that month and it was Addicted to You by um Chris Becca and Krista, Christy and Becca Richie, 
the, the the dual sisters um yeah i read the, i read that book i read the addicted series um and i have yet to finish addicted series i already read book one and let's just say i love lily and lauren i do i love lily and low they are the best characters in my opinion they they were cute i love them it definitely talks a lot of like mental health um addiction uh and like coping mechanism like wrong coping mechanism that you need to work on so if we don't know what the dictator series is where are you where, where have you been it's like akatar like it's just known in the community but i'll explain <laughs> um so the addicted series is basically um about this girl she's a sex addict and then this guy lo um lily is a sex addict and lauren is a drunk he's like an alcoholic and they both are in this fake relationship they've been best friends since they were kids they're in a fake relationship in order to hide their addictions from their families and it really just it shows like codependency on each other it shows how much they loved each other but also the addictions is real in this book oh my god their addictions is real like it's, it's real they went through a lot like just together and like how much they tried to like be better but like it just they, they just keep feeling like their disappointments to people they feel like they need to isolate themselves because they know that what they're doing is bad but like they're not going to change like it was definitely a deep book but i love the ending for them to be able to take the measures that they did in order to find themselves and that, that aspect and then the aspect so i i was definitely a really good book i want to continue the series i just it was a lot not even like the mental health wise but like the book was really really good but like it felt like so much was happening yes not not at all like i, I don't know <laughs> next i read the hades castle series by Sam crawford so i read the first book which is fallen and the second book which is rapture so the first the, basically the series is about <sighs> It's interesting um i don't remember too much <laughs> i remember the plot i remember what happens but i don't remember i believe this guy he is a angel per se and it's set in like you know those like in ireland um you know what i maybe i should just put the synopsis up here i am very very bad at this but um yeah i gave this i gave the first book well, how many stars did i get the first book oh by the way oh i'm so sorry i rate the addictive series four stars by the way um and the uh, 4.5 i don't remember um but i gave the first book three stars and the second book four stars um the second book is definitely better than the first book but i don't remember too much about it um I remember that was better in the first book. Um, I, I know a lot of events that happened. The ending was anticlimactic. That's why I, I, it had potential to be a five star. And then she gave an anti ass fucking climactic ass ending. And I was like, wow, I see how it is. So I was upset. And so that's why the book gate got five stars. I made three stars, four stars. So yeah, I was watching that series because I don't really remember much. It was definitely a audiobook read quit read quit and it was just like done and over with i read it both books in one day it was like a fast read and i just read them in one day i was having a good time and that was it it was like, it was a good book for at, at that moment but i don't remember much about the series that yeah i don't remember much about the series i read made of steel by ivy smoke which i didn't know i read the book before um and so i was reading it and i was like on audio and i was like this sounds familiar and i was like this is the book by dnf'd um so yeah i finally finished it and i was reading that book it was the day after i read this is all december by the way so rapture is december we're in december now um so <laughs> i read made a steal before and i'm like this is a book by dnf but i was like i don't remember why i dnf this so i kept continuing to read on audio i get the first book three stars it's i, I hate when books the plot like the 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 synopsis is different from the plot yeah i don't like books like that um that's that book i it said something about stalker and she did have a stalker um but yeah um i was this i was highly disappointed in that book because i was like it's i thought it was a dark romance and it was not um <laughs> that's why i was upset um so yeah i think i i think i just misconstrued the synopsis but yes that book i gave three stars and i started the second book and i dnf'd because uh, uh, uh something happened in that book and it honestly disturbed me um in that book so i had a dnf 
the next book that I read is by Kay Robert. It's a part of a series that I, I, I read before and I love to reread. So the first book is called uh, There's For The Night and then this that's the prequel and then the first book in the series is called Forever Theirs. Basically it's about this girl. She basically goes to the club with her friend um, for her birthday and she meets these two guys um they're like basically come home with us she was like sure fine they go they do things and she ends up finding out that this guy is not who he she no oh, i don't want to say he, she's not who she, he said he was because technically she didn't ask too much of his name but yeah so she ends up going with them and he and they like they end up being more than what she bargained for and their first book is kind of like their story like their actual story um the first book is just like the prequel is just their one night stand um so yeah i made it sound like it's lackluster but it was actually really, really good i gave both for i gave both of them five stars there are rereads for me and i love them dearly um they're not books that i love to read annually um uh, because i just love reading about them they're literally adorable like also, Katie Robert is amazing at um, writing polyamorous relationships. Love it. This book is an MMF book. If we're looking for an MMF rep, I love this book so much. Like, if I could, I would read it again. I could, but I have, like, two different arcs I need to read right now on top of me in the middle of reading a series that I will be discussing soon. Uh, my thoughts and opinions about and I will make no video about it because I can't wait for that I really can it's gonna be so good the series that I read was by an author named Kate Nolan Nolan which was very 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 good um and I I made an edit and then the, the um author liked my edit commented and then followed me I thought I was doing I was so happy I was so happy like I I love this book I love this series L loved it and I cannot wait to read any other, more books by her. Um, I'm just in the middle of a lot of books right now, but I, I love reading books by like non like popular authors because like as much as I love reading about reading popular books, I love non popular books because to me, I don't know why they hit more. That's just me. The first book, um, which is baby it's cold outside the second book i am not finished with but i read the third book which is may for um may for loving you and then it has a um prequel to that book which is basically kind of like their story before you start your story um and it's bad case of loving you um all three books i gave for um five stars they were really really good um short um audiobook read i had so much fun reading them um the first book is basically about this girl she gets um she's basically like going through a lot when it comes down to writing her novel like she write, wrote this really huge successful series and now she's in her next book and she needs to write it but she can't write it like she has a big big writer's block um so she ends up like oh i'm gonna go to the spa for like a week or three and have a good time and hopefully i can write the, up there in the mountains she goes and it's a huge snowstorm and she ends up getting stuck almost dies and this guy literally ex ex um navy seal i believe comes down grabs her from like this like like this like huge like snow pit that she fell into grabs her takes her to his house and then it's like instant love connection if you don't like instant love i highly would not recommend this book but i ate it up also i forgot this book even had like um third act conflict it does but like i feel like her third act conflicts make sense because it, it's not like it's just i, I hate books that third in conflict for no reason i think that each like Dear, her third act conflicts make sense, and I think that it's plausible for the book. So I wasn't upset, and I loved him. This book, this book, and the, all three books are good. Um, the second book is basically about this guy. He is going through a lot. Um, he lost his best friend. He was in a war. He lost his best friend. He thinks that he killed his best friend when he, um he was in war, but really no, it's not really his fault. But he blames himself, and he was going through a lot mentally. He he ends up actually like coming up and like um uh baby it's snowing outside actually um he is the guy's best friend uh like really good friend that i think they met while they were overseas or whatever 
no like too much it's been a minute since i read since i read this book but um he ends up basically going to this wedding and meeting his ex um and it's really good she, the ex she is it starts off with her um and it's from her point of view she is a writer um she writes romances but currently she is being stalked um and we're trying to figure out who's stalking her who's sending her these like illicit mail and doing all this and she ends up like like i said you know i said like she meets us at, at a wedding so that's what um a bad case of loving you is it's their them meeting at the wedding all over again and so i mean for loving you is like him like oh you want to go like stay with me for a weekend she's like sure like i'm being stalked he is a cop um he's an ex navy seal like but i'm good like maybe i'll like they won't find me lo and behold the the stalkers don't find her but the book is good it's really good i love them um i think it's one of my favorite books in the series i it made me cry at the end but like it's just it's not even a book in the series but it's, it's something about stuck in a cabin in the woods during the snow that baby it's cold outs um baby it's snow outside that eight but i'm like maybe that's my favorite in the book in, in the series i don't know maybe it it just it just eats every time in my opinion it eats every time <laughs> So then I read Heated Rivalry by Rachel Reed and then I also read the, it's not the second book in the series because it's like a series of standalone but it's like, this is like the sixth book and then like um, The Long Game is like the eighth book in the series. Um, it's a M.M. Hockey romance. It's about two guys who just so happen to be arch rivals <laughs> um, and everybody is like they're rivals, they hate each other, lo and behold, they don't hate each other. They out here doing some things behind closed doors that many people would be like oh my god <laughs> um and they've been together for years like they've been together for years not like not all the time like the first book is like them falling in love like how did they get to that point of like the spam of those years um and then the second book is like how as now they navigate their relationship how is that going to play out with like them being in the NFL and then being rivals and coming to terms with oneself, sexuality and things like that. It's the series is good. I fucking loved it. It was so good. Crossroads by Riley Riley Crossroads by Riley Hart. Um Oh, I, first of all, I'm so sorry for that series. The, for the series I was just talking about with like heated rivalry, I gave both books five stars. I love that that series right there. Crossroads, I did not like. Um, I didn't hate it. I just wish the author gave more insight to the characters. I felt like the characters felt bland, which is weird because everybody says that all the time. Like, um, like I and I always think like, how do characters be bland in a book? Like, doesn't the the author developed them like how can that happen and this is the first time i feel like i don't remember um actually reading the stale characters um that was them i believe that they fell in love like i believe they fell in love but the characters were so stale because there was i hate when authors does too many time jumps that's what she does and she does she does these time jumps without even filling in blanks and then on top of that don't really tell us more about the characters but what allows them to push the storyline and i'm like the point of the book is that we need to get to know the characters and how they fall in love and if i can't get to know my characters how am i supposed to be invested in the story so probably by, by the time the ending came i didn't give a fuck <laughs> i didn't give two fucks <laughs> i was like i'm ready i'm done i'm clean slate so i gave it three stars um now i'm thinking about it i should get a two but i gave it three stars nonetheless um because i did enjoy the beginning of the book i did enjoy and i did like them being together but i just wish that it was more fleshed out and i do wish that we got to know the characters more because i like i genuinely liked it them and i genuinely felt like they could have been together um but i gave it three stars this book is basically about these two guys they end up like moving next to each other and they share like this like backyard um one of them just got divorced the other one is out of come he came out of a long not a long term relationship but like he came out of a relationship with like his ex that was his best friend they are still best friends but they realized that they don't work together and they ended up like because they you know spent a lot of time together boom now they're together <laughs> um, it, 
it's really nothing but that like it's really nothing but them end up coming together and them navigating how to work a being in a male male relationship and then trying to come out to their family so yeah that's what that's, that book is about then i read without you by marley valentine which is really good um i think i gave that book four three or four stars probably like a 3.5 i it was good don't get me wrong it was definitely an emotional read it was heavy the but and i do like that we got to see i felt like i, I felt the characters i really did but i was also bored by the end because you know i just was bored <laughs> <laughs> I was just bored like it, I can't explain why I just was I was just bored like it was I, it, it was like okay let's end the book now so yeah um it was good but I just was ready to end the book um this book is basically about this guy um his brother died um and his brother's boyfriend was going through a lot um and like time jump a year um he still hasn't been in a relationship he's still going through a lot the brother is going through a lot from losing his brother um the parents the siblings are all going through a lot and um they end up like getting together and trying to navigate um and also navigating and telling his family like i know that this was my brother's boyfriend but now we're together so it definitely was a deep, deep romance. Um, sad. I don't, I don't know if I cried or not. I don't remember, but it was, it was a good book nonetheless. Um, it was, it was a, a book that I would, I wanted to read that year, and I didn't realize it until I started it. And I, was, and I looked at my Goodreads, and it says want to read after I finished it, and I said, ah, this was that book. <laughs> um, and the last book that I read that year, thus my favorite book. It's literally my favorite book of last year, one of my faves because also Kingdom of the Wicked came out that year. But yes, thus the best book that came out, and oh, I don't know if this came out last year, but thus my favorite book um, that I read. Literally the last book I read last year, literally my favorite book. It's called All Our Hidden Gifts. It was fucking amazing. This book is literally amazing. I love me, I love Fiona, and I love Ro. I love all three of those characters. So let me explain this book to you. Basically, it's about this girl. She ends up like cleaning out her the storage closet in her school because the teacher she threw a shoe at the teacher and the head mistress was like, "Go clean out the closet for like as a punishment." She ends up finding this like um, tarot cards and she ends up like studying tarot cards and reading them and trying to get to know them the tarot cards and how to read them and then she gets popular at school for doing people's tarot cards she felt this instant connection to them to this instant like uh, ability to really understand these cards and she ends up doing one of her ex-friends um lily's uh tarot and next thing you know she like missing gone and um i should also say that there's this mysterious card that keeps popping up that came out the day that lily did she did lily's reading and we're trying to figure out what happened to lily we're trying to figure out um is it paranormal related um and there's a lot of like paranormal activity activities i shall say there's witches tarot readings things like that like the book is good um i love fiona i think that she's the best friend ever i do wish that we get to see more fiona in the book she we only see fiona when convenient for me poc characters feel like sometimes i know that's not the author's intention but the way they write it sometimes makes it feel like these characters are just made to be like the support system for the main characters like they're the ones that they they come to run to to talk about their feelings and um this is what like basically to be their punching bag but i know that's not your intention and i definitely agree that that's not what in the cases of these books but i can see where people can point that out because there is a lot of shit that these characters go through that the um that these uh, character like these poc characters always have to be their that person that saves them in that sense but i love them so yeah um <laughs> like i love francis my name's francis i love francis and radio silence I love Fiona and All Our Hidden Gifts. Like, they're amazing. Like, they are the best of, they are the best friends. 
they are just amazing i love this book so much like i i can't explain to you how much i love this book it's a part of a series it's a trilogy so i'm probably going to start just the second book sometime this month or the next month coming up i keep thinking about it and i'm like maybe i should finally read it so the next book is here um it's called um the gifts that bind us which literally looks gorgeous I can't wait to have the opportunity to read it. I love this book. I know I'm gonna love this book. Hopefully. I hope I hope I hope I give it five stars too. But infinity out of five. Um, this book was just so good. Now I will not lie, a lot of bitches was gaslighting my good sis. The only person who did not gaslight her inside of this whole book was Fiona. That's the only person. Everybody else gaslighted the fuck out of her. So yeah. I recommend the series please go read it like seriously go read it like i'm not kidding go read it um but yeah that's the end of my that's the end of my video i've been talking for 34 minutes um <laughs> i need to go to sleep um but it's only like seven o'clock so what the fuck am i talking about but yes i hope you like this video i hope you took some recommendations i highly 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 if i had to choose one book for you to read highly recommend this one um but i've currently have read 14 books in the, the month of january so you will see more, um a january wrap up soon um look out for that as well um also my 2023 book goals that i have coming out soon i will be filming that soon so i hope you tune into those videos but i hope you love this one hope you enjoyed this one hope you took some recommendations from the books that i read um i hope you love this video please like and subscribe and i love you i know it's been a minute and i'm super glad to be able to be in the headspace to make a make youtube videos again because i love making youtube videos they are like comfort videos for me i actually do watch my own youtube videos so <laughs> yeah i'm super excited about this i love you guys i can't wait to read more books in 2023 my reading goal is bigger this year so hopefully i surpass it again because i surpassed my book reading goal last year oh yeah i didn't tell you so my reading goal was 40 books i um read 56 books so hey i'm that bitch but yeah um let me know if you want um uh, my favorite books of the year uh video um or uh books that i hated that uh, last year let me know i can make that for you um i gotta go. <laughs> bye bye.